Watching Feel the Culture with Curse Mikey TV. What up, everyone? Curse Mikey here, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Feel the Culture. Now, today I am here with my friend Ayola. He is from Nigeria. Finally, mm -hmm. <laughs> finally, we're going to represent all the Nigerians in the house. Today is your time to shine, my friends. Thank you for being with me, Ayola. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. <laughs> so, we are going to be talking today about Nigerian wedding traditions. So, before we get into that, we are going to be finding out from Ayola, you know the usual. Where is Nigeria located? Official language and things like that. But let us start with, geographically, where can we find Nigeria? Well, uh, I must confess, I'm not exactly a geography buff, but... I know Nigeria shares borders with um, Benin Republic, uh, Cameroon, and uh, we do like, and Chad. Yes, and okay. Nigeria Republic. Yeah, so we have those countries we share borders with, and then the Atlantic Ocean is borders Lagos, so that's Southwest Nigeria. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. So moving on to the official language, I know you know. Nigeria probably is one of those countries that has a lot of them because oh, yeah. I feel like you guys have a lot of different groups and tribes and stuff. So, like, how many languages do you have and, like, what's the official language for Nigeria? Well, so the official language uh, is, is English because we were colonized by the British. But we speak, we have a ton of languages in Nigeria, over 520, if I'm correct. Yes, I am correct. And... Um, <clears throat> Each tribe, so there, there's a lot of tribes in Nigeria, and each tribe speaks a, a different language. Some of them are slightly similar, while mm -hmm. some of them are like completely different. And <laughs> the funny thing about Nigerian languages is that we share languages with uh, Benin Republic, who speak Yoruba. So my tribe speaks Yoruba, oh. and then Benin Republic were colonized by the French, so they speak Yoruba and French, and French. while we speak English and Yoruba, while our immediate neighbors in Nigeria speak Igbo, which is completely different from Yoruba. <laughs> so it's it's a confusion. It's quite a oh, wow. bowl of confusion, yeah. Okay. So I'm guessing, um, apart from English, the language that someone would more than likely know to speak depends on their tribe. Yeah, so it depends on okay. the tribe. So it depends on where you are in Nigeria. But the safest bet for you would be to speak Pigeon English, which <laughs> is a form of broken English that is similar to Patois, I think. And it's spoken pretty widely in Nigeria. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. cool. So what are the main like groups that I can find in Nigeria? Because I know there is a lot, but like what are like the three like that you would classify yeah. as like the main? Yeah, so we have three major tribes there, the Hausa, who are in north, northern Nigeria, the Igbo, who are the southeast Nigeria, and your Yoruba, who are the southwest of Nigeria. Okay, yeah. okay. So a little lesson for you guys today. Yeah. A lot of the <laughs> Nigerian songs you hear have Yoruba mm. in it, a lot of them. So like Davido is Yoruba, Whiskey is Yoruba, like huh. they speak a lot of Yoruba in Nigerian songs. Interesting. So wait, that guy who sings Kukere? Cook your, cook yeah, yeah he's, he's not your right now. No, he's, no? <laughs> he's uh, I think he's from Kanaba, so that's like South oh. South Nigeria. That's another tribe entirely. Wow, well, some representation there for that tribe. Big up yeah. for the song. <laughs> I love that song so much. It's a good song. <laughs> it's a really good song. All right, so I'm guessing that because there are different groups, that means that the weddings would be celebrated different ways. So, which group will you be telling us about today? The Yoruba tribe. I'm Yoruba, so I'm most familiar with that language, culture, and tradition. Okay, okay. So, all our Yoruba people, this is for you. <laughs> so, all right. I think I want to start off by finding out from you um, some so, common... So before, before we go further, I'd like okay. to uh, make a public service announcement. <laughs> we Yoruba men have had a lot of bad rep. I cannot. Yes, yeah, so there's been this horrible rumors about Yoruba men being demons and stuff. <laughs> I'd like to officially announce that it's not true. We're angels, amazing darlings, <laughs> and we couldn't hurt a fly even if we tried. Do yeah. you see the halo on his head? Yes, <laughs> I'm an angel. We are angels. So ju just making that known for anyone who you were turned away from marrying a Yoruba guy, here, here's one that's basically vouching for every one of them that they, they are good men. So. We, Yoruba men don't cheat. 
give give them a chance is pretty much what I'm hearing. All right. So the first thing I probably want to ask you. So I've read up some other stuff, but of mm-hmm. course I do want you to be the one to, you know, straighten the facts for me. Mm-hmm. So one thing I did read, and it's something that I watched in like movies and whatnot, because I used to grow up watching Nolly a lot of Nollywood films. Um, is it still common today that the oldest has to be the one that's married first before the rest of the siblings? No, it's not as common. Okay. Anymore. Like right now, people marry when they want to because of education and mm. people studying different lengths of courses and stuff in school. So it's gotcha. still encouraged for the older ones to marry first. And not mm. marrying early can be a bit annoying because all the aunties <laughs> would be like, when are you getting married? But on an average, you can marry whenever you want. Okay, great. All right, so cool. So, Yoruba weddings. How many ceremonies? Because I feel like you guys have like 10 billion different. <laughs> yeah, so it, it could vary. It could be between two to eight different ceremonies that people do, depending on their on budget. The, on their budget. <laughs> but on an average, um, there's officially three steps to a Yoruba wedding that okay. I, I can speak of. So there is, um, okay, so I should start with this. Yoruba weddings or marriages are not between two individuals, they're between two families. So everything that happens in the marriage or in the wedding is to facilitate the join, the join, the joining, sorry, I don't know, I had words (laughs) on The joining of the two families. So it's like a step-by-step process to make sure that the families mesh and they get along. So the first stage is the introduction. So we call this the introduction. So here it's a smaller close and neat ceremony uh, between the close members of the family, the elders, uh, the parents, close uncles and aunties, cousins, Mm -hmm. and of the bride and the groom. So this is the first meeting, first official meeting between both families. And it's just to find out about them, is for the um the groom and his family to officially state their intention oh so know, okay yeah in the past it was uh it had many meanings in the past it was to it was like a fact finding mission to find out oh are there sicknesses in your family <laughs> are there any genetic things we should we should watch out for and I then the it. groom's family brings presents for the family of the bride okay. and then the bride's family feeds them and entertains them and they just find out how well they get along so that's oh, okay. the initial meeting. Then when if things go well, mm-hmm. or in the past it was very important, right? Like this was a make or break. Make or oh, break. so if they so didn't get along, it's then like the more wedding wedding. Is off. Yeah, that was in the past, but now it's more ceremonial because the families already know each other. They've been dating for a while. So everybody gotcha. already knows this. So this is more symbolic now. Mm-hmm. And more of meeting the fringe members of the family than okay. the actual introduction. Then the second stage is the engagement. So now what we call engagement in Nigeria was the actual wedding in the past. This was the actual ceremony that created the union between the husband and wife. But because of colonialism, we uh, call it the engagement now and call the white wedding the wedding. So it's like a good Beckham wedding, marriage. (laughs) So now we're technically getting married two times. And I should say that in Nigerian law, we have mm. the customary law that actually recognizes engagement as the wedding. So if you stop there, you are married under customary law. So it gives oh. you a different set of rights from if you were married in under the statute, which is the gotcha. wedding. Gotcha. Yeah, so, so if someone didn't want to do the traditional white wedding and just wanted to do the, um, yes. they could. Okay. Yeah, you could do it and you would be married. It's oh. just that it affords you different rights. So under customary uh. law, for example, you can marry more than one wife. Oh, yeah, so if say a man wanted more than one wife, he wouldn't do the statutory wedding because if he did that, he'll be guilty of bigamy, bigamy, gotcha. and he could go to jail. So he could just do the customary wedding and then have multiple wives. And there's also more protections for like uh, for wills and uh, spousal support and things like that under the statutory wedding than under the co- than the co- okay, I get you. Yeah, okay. So- So just to give us an image, because I'm not even sure if I'll be able to find clips to like put in here to give a visual example, but is the engagement party that one that like they're in like matching? Yeah, so I haven't even told you about the engagement party. I got derailed. (laughs) We're right back. 
the engagement is big, right? So this is where close friends, family, mm -hmm. uh, cousins, somebody's uncles, aunts, child, <laughs> brothers, sons, <laughs> wives, kids, everybody, neighbor, like everybody just shows up for this. But the engagement is aggressively cultural, right? Like mm. we all wear tradition now, where the there's this lady who is the most interesting person in the engagement, who is called the Alaga Iduro. Who is Alaga. Like the, Yes, Alaga. It means chair lady, standing chair lady. That's what it literally oh. translates to. So she's like the compare, the MC of the event. And it's her job. Like literally, there are people that that's what they do for a living. They are MCs for wedding, for oh, wedding wow. parties. So there's a <laughs> bunch of ceremonies that you have to go through. Um, the groom and his friends are basically there to sh to ask for the bride. To say oh yeah we can do it so she makes them jump through a lot of hoops <laughs> make them play games and prostrate and dance and what's prostrate oh that's like life flat so that's how we uh... so in nigerian culture in yoruba culture mm -hmm. we're very much about respect so um the girls kneel to greet the elders while men prostrate so we just lie flat oh, okay yeah so um so the alaga makes you do a bunch of things and she makes you give it <laughs> a lot of money like you donate for this and donate for how beautiful she is and you how, smart she, how is. smart she is so like it's up to you to keep giving as much money as you can but the fun fact that i just found out recently in my friend's engagement is that the the alaga the mc gets to keep all the money that is raised or most of the money so it's oh. it's in her best interest to make you give as much money as, as much money oh yeah. my gosh that's a good gig it is a good gig. <laughs> so yeah so that that happens uh also i should mention that um in the beginning of the ceremony the bride is not there she's not in attendance she's like okay. with her friends in their room and then the groom comes in and greets the parents and does all the ridiculous things the uh mc makes them do and then you greet them mm -hmm. and then after the bride's family accepts them and is like oh yeah okay so we agree we accept you then they bring the bride and they're like so the bride oh. usually is dressed in matching clothes with the groom the girl okay. while the groom's men are usually so it's called ashwabi which translates to dress of the family basically and um so there, there are degrees to it right like mm -hmm. close family has a different color um close friends have a different color um for their relatives have a different color so the higher your clothes color the closer you are to them the higher your hierarchy and um the more expensive your material is the clothes are usually overpriced and it's mostly <laughs> your donation to their wedding it's just you, oh, know okay. paying, you know you're paying too much but you're just doing <laughs> because yeah this is my donation so, so and yeah. this is at the engagement party yes this is okay engagement party so the uh groom's family brings presents they bring like a bunch of presents like yams and cows and goats depending on how wealthy you are this is where you show off to show how well, uh, you, are, well off you, are. you can take care of her yeah. and then you also bring clothes and jewelry and stuff that she would wear when she's with you just to show mm. that you're well off then anyways after they accept you or accept the groom Mm -hmm. then the bride is invited to come out with her friends and then there's dancing and music and she comes out with fanfare and then she uh she's told to go meet her husband or the person she wants to marry so she comes to the group of friends and mm -hmm. then she locates the one guy that she wants to get married the groom and <laughs> she leads him to her family and they're like oh yeah this is him and everyone's like oh then they clap and there's chairs <laughs> and there's all that and then um eventually they go sit down on the high table and then the ceremonies continue then they start feeding okay. people at this point which is where oh gosh everybody gets excited because <laughs> they usually bring out the food <laughs> at around this point so yeah. so how long does this usually last for like how many hours um it depends it could be all day like what? Yeah. What? <laughs> it, it, it could be four hours three hours two hours like some people do like quick engagements and rush uh -huh. Some people give speeches and every member of the family will give a speech. Oh, and God. then, and also like, yeah, the youngest member of the bride's family, I think reads a letter. So I think the groom writes a letter that the youngest member of the bride's family reads. There's like so many ceremonies, right? So it depends on the MC, it depends on how early it starts. It depends on how many important members of the family have speeches to give. Mm -hmm. how the prayers are. Yeah, prayers are a big part of those things. Oh, gosh. So, pro tip for anyone 
eat before you go. Right. So then the actual wedding, well, so the, the westernized the, the kind westernized of... wedding is the last day. So usually, a lot of couples do uh, Friday engagement, Sunday wedding. Mm -hmm. So it's back to back. Okay. Yeah, because guests travel for these events, so they want you to be able to do it without having to travel. So Friday evening afternoon to evening will be the engagement and the wedding will be saturday morning and most of the day mostly all day and grand weddings take all day <laughs> so on saturday you do the white wedding in the morning you go to mm -hmm. church so the bride and groom and groomsmen mostly wear suits and white wedding gowns and stuff while the guests are mostly dressed in traditional nigerian dresses oh okay They're called, the men wear agbada and fila while the women wear buba and iro and gele so the gele is the headgear, the mm -hmm. women wear, uh, and then the buba is the shirt, and the iro is the wrapper you tie around. They usually gotcha. colorful. While the men wear agbada, which is like a three-piece, like a big parachute-like dress. <laughs> it it looks the, nice, though. <laughs> yes, it is, it is. And then you wear the buba and shokoto under the agbada. So this, like for example, is a buba, and then the pants are called shokoto. Then, oh, like what you have on right yeah, now. Yeah, and then okay. the hat is called a fila. Fila, okay, yes. cool. Um, so, yeah, then after the white wedding, you go for the engagement, the, the reception, sorry. The reception, the okay. reception party is usually where it's at. That's where it's at. That's where all the dance videos you see online. Uh-huh, and the money, oh my gosh. <laughs> so the, the bride and the groom go change into native for the reception. There's a lot of costume changes in Nigerian weddings. So the bride and groom change a lot of times. <laughs> so at this point, they change into traditional mm -hmm. wear. So the bride, it comes in and then the groom and his friends dancing, mm -hmm. and all the Nigerian dance steps and play the music. Then all the important members of the family are on the high table. Then there's usually a comedian mm -hmm. MC that tries to be funny. Then there's mm -hmm. a lot of food. And then uh, what happens? What else happens in the reception? The spraying, the, the, oh, the yeah, money, yeah, yeah. the throwing oh, yeah. of the money. Yeah, so we call that spraying. It's very important. So when the bride and the groom are dancing, uh, the family members and friends come out to spray. So it's like a, ah. it shows your support for them, but it's also a good way to show how wealthy you are. Oh, so show people, off. People prepare for this. Like they go to banks to take like new banknotes. and. Oh. Like, small bills so you can make it rain for a long time I and then the even. bridesmaid the bride has some of her bridesmaids assigned to like picking up money from the ground and, <laughs> and it's a whole thing like this goes on for like almost an hour of music oh wow and, and like, the couple gets to keep this money right not yeah, the MC. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, it's, it's the couple's money it's the couple okay money. good so yeah. i think the biggest question i have after hearing all of this is who the heck pays for all of this? So usually the bride's family does all the organizing. I have oh, okay. only sisters, so we've organized a lot of these things. Uh, but the groom's family usually offers money. Oh, right? okay. And you're like, okay, so this is my donation for this. Like, oh, here, please take this. Mm -hmm. uh, nowadays, the groom is pretty involved in the wedding. But I think traditionally, is the woman that like so they pick the venues the the, the flowers the church, and church the everything is so it caters to the bride wow so, yeah. it does and sound it, like a very good time though. and they're usually really big there's usually a bunch of people there can be as many as i think over a thousand people in nigerian weddings like i i know nowadays um <laughs> people have been trying to like do strictly by invitation weddings and stuff but it's not that, that doesn't work that's it's not very <laughs> the wedding industry in nigeria is a whole thing so they're like people that make a lot of money off it they're like drummers that just go to weddings and play drums outside with oh. traditional drums called the uh what's it called gong gong yeah i think it's the gong gong uh, the talking drum that's what it's called it's called talking drum because you can actually play every note of the piano and the drums like during oh. the Latino, and you can actually play music with it. So they go outside and they play and they sing and they, we call it Oriki. Mm -hmm. so they call, they praise you. They say like amazing things about you. Like, wow, see his clothes, see how amazing <laughs> his clothes. he's so handsome. And then you give them money and then you feel really good about yourself as you walk into the engagement or into the party. Like there's a whole industry around it and there's a whole wow. system that 
it does sound like a good way to make money definitely i mean from floral arrangement to food catering all that stuff so yes so i'm definitely looking forward to your day um when i get <laughs> yeah, so i get my invitation so i can come yeah it, it would definitely be fun it, it will be one of those those weapons. make sure you spray me <laughs> i will i have to come prepared i'll go yeah. change out some you know dollar bills and yeah yeah no yeah. Is no, no lo well that's the thing with canadian <laughs> money okay it has to be fives yeah. up yeah, so no, no <laughs> <laughs> wow okay wow this was a lot and really great information thank you so much for breaking it down for us and teaching us about our yoruba nigerian traditional wedding and for those of you who are watching for more videos like this and more please subscribe to this channel turn on your post notification and look out every single thursday for a new video thank you so much aliola for being here with me pleasure my pleasure <laughs> don't forget huh what'd you say what did you say have a wonderful <laughs> evening oh <laughs> <laughs> and with that we say don't forget to do and do things and until next time maggie is out <laughs>